If you've followed Wreckfest at all, you've known that it's been a long time coming. Initially released in early access on Steam in 2013, it eventually made its full release last year. And despite a couple of delays, it has now finally reached consoles. And to be honest with you, if you've been following since 2013, despite it being six years later, it is still worth the wait. Wreckfest by Bugbear Interactive, you may know them as the developers behind some of the original Flatout games, is back with the Destruction Derby, incredibly impressive car modelling um, in terms of its deformation and destruction is all intact here and then some. The only thing fans of the Flatout series may miss are the mini games, but in its place is a huge diversity and variety to not only the vehicles and the damage models but to the actual things you're doing per race there is two main sort of races in a way there are standard races and there's destruction derby but within there there's things like earning points and xp for hitting cars in certain ways and realistically every single race even on the same track will feel different due to so many dynamic elements either on the track or even with the AI. One of the things I cannot overlook or overstate is just how different each race feels because of the different drivers. You will have different levels of aggression and skill on show and each that means each time if you are dealing with them in a more direct manner, everything feels different. But beyond that, Wreckfest is just an incredibly impressive game just to look at in motion. Not only is the tracks themselves detailed well enough, there are thousands of interactive objects per track. These go from tires to fences to other little things that can be destroyed and change the look of the actual track. And then put on top of that, probably the most impressive car destruction in a racing game to date. Wreckfest just adds so much to the pure gameplay formula that is nothing short of entirely impressive in every single aspect. Not only that, but you're playing a racing game that isn't exactly like most other racing games. You have your standard arcade racers and simulation racers, but these are usually covering real world cars or at least don't offer that much in terms of damage models or it tries to capture a certain type of sport, be it rally or street racing or the more traditional f uh, tracks. Here, these are all fictional, so you're not used to seeing these things b before. And not only that, you're going from speed race uh, in stadiums to off-road to country to door tracks. There's a huge change. And not only that, like there's there's races where you're in a lawnmower, there's another where you're in a bulldozer. Like I said, the, the whole variety and diversity here um, is just so good. But playing the game itself, um, the control of it is vastly improved over time. It, it, when the if you've played the game years ago, um, you may have been impressed by the actual physics model, but the controls were okay. They weren't the best, but they're okay. And the same says maybe for bugbear's previous uh, games like flat out like you may have enjoyed it but the controls weren't for everyone they, they felt a bit unusual at times a little bit floaty or sort of unwieldy and um, here it is one of the most satisfying aspects of the game it just every car feels different but everyone feels right it feels like when you have control you have control when you lose control there's a reason why you've lost control and beyond that Beyond the cosmetic damage, there is also functional damage to it as well. So you can damage your suspension and your brakes and your gearbox and your engine. And all this can have detrimental effects to how the vehicle controls. And like it just it's a ton of fun to just get in and smash some stuff up. Thankfully, we've had a bit of a great renaissance this year. I don't know if the renaissance is the right word, but we've had a great sort of series of releases this year already largely due to the to thanks to codemasters who've been on a bit of a roll this year but wreckfest to me is better than all of those i think partially because i will be honest and say i'm a huge fan of their games and always have been but the fact that this just feels so different to everything else out there it's not another rally game or another f1 game 
this is totally unique and you're not going to get a game like this next year or the year after the year after that from these guys these this is a game that purely puts everything into it and it runs really well it looks fantastic the, this what you're seeing right now was on xbox one x and it runs fantastically um, and it looks brilliant i think i think it's just an overall fantastic racing game and possibly my favorite racing game of the generation so far it is that good um, if any of this has interested you whatsoever i will tell you whether you're on pc xbox or playstation so go out and get wreckfest now it is worth every single cent and you will have a blast every single time you press start